In the modern-day Turkish city of Denizli, archaeologists have been hard at work excavating various sites. The team has been focusing their attention on the areas that had once been a central location of the ancient Roman Empire. One particular site that they are working on has delivered some incredible finds in the past. Yet in 2019, the team was astonished when they uncovered an ancient artifact that nobody was expecting to find, especially in the location that it was discovered. One aspect of the team's find that made it so miraculous is that according to reports, historical digs have taken place in the area they were working on since the 19th century. The location had once been home to the ancient city of Laodicea, which had been part of the Roman province of Phrygia. The city had become one of the key points in a massive trade network and therefore became quite wealthy because of it. Considering that the area was a significant location during the time of the Roman Republic, archaeologists have deemed it a significant place of study. Detailed excavations of the area first began around 2002 and continued until recently. In 2019, it was announced that what the team had discovered was considered one of, if not the most significant, finds. The experts responsible for uncovering this ancient treasure were part of the excavation committee of the ancient city of Laodicea. The team was led by Salal Simsek from Denizli's Pamukkale University. To understand the importance of the team's discovery, it's important to understand the history of Laodicea as it had existed under the rule of the Roman Republic. Interestingly, the city of Laodicea supposedly first came on the map as the Greek town known as Diospolis, which translates to mean City of Zeus. The area also had the name Rhodus at one point, at some time around the 3rd century BC. Then, Seleucus Antiochus II established the soon-to-be Roman city in the area. After establishing the city and taking control of the area, he supposedly named Laodicea after his wife, who was named Laodice. By 188 BC, it had become a part of the kingdom of Pergamon. Then, after some years of prosperity, from 133 BC and onwards, the city became a part of the Roman Republic. Yet between 88 BC to 63 BC, the Roman Republic was deeply involved in the Mithridatic Wars. Unfortunately, Laodicea was a victim of these hostilities and therefore suffered greatly during this period of conflict Rome was involved with. Although the city may have been hindered during the wars, incredibly, they seemed to bounce back with relative ease, unlike some other places. So, as the Roman Empire reached its end and the rise of the Roman Empire began, the city took advantage of the situation and prospered. It rapidly grew to become an incredibly wealthy city, and at all times had all manners of goods and money running through it. Throughout the time of the Roman Empire, the city of Laodicea was considered to be of great importance. However, its success went beyond the Roman Empire and well into the Byzantine Empire. During the time that Laodicea was still a city during the Roman era, the city saw a variety of leaders both come and go over the years. However, it appears that one Roman leader had a particular impact on the city, and the people of Laodicea revered him. This was the Roman Emperor Trajan who reigned between 98 and 117 AD. Trajan is understood by historians as one of the most influential leaders to ever rule the Roman Empire. One of the main reasons behind this is that Trajan bravely led the empire during one of the empire's most significant periods of military expansion. By the time that Trajan died in 117 AD, Rome's global territory was arguably at the largest that it ever was, so who was this great Roman leader? Long before he became the emperor or even picked up a sword, Trajan was born in Italica, a place located near what is now the modern-day Spanish city of Seville. He then grew up to serve as a senior commander in the Roman army, earning an impressive reputation for himself regarding both his leadership and prowess in battle. Finally, on January 27, 98 AD, Trajan ascended the throne of the Roman Empire. As a new emperor, Trajan got right to work on expanding the empire with little delay. One of the first things he did was take over Nabataea, an area that was straddling parts of what are now Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan. Once he took Nabataea, he established a new providence called Arabia Petraea. As a result of Trajan's conquests, the Roman Empire would expand to control the most of the world that it would ever achieve, and his people loved him for it. For everything that he had accomplished in his life, he was given the title of Optimus Principus, which meant the best ruler. However, in the middle of 117 AD, he became ill while aboard a ship. 
He died in the town of Salinas on August 8, the same year, at the age of 63. Apparently, this act did not go unnoticed by the citizens of Laodicea, and they created a way to thank him for all that he did for them. So, when Selal Simsek and his team announced that in 2019, they discovered something that looked to be a statue of Trajan within Laodicea, not everyone was incredibly surprised. However, what made the find so astonishing was the sheer scale of the statue that had been built for Trajan as a kind of tribute. Incredibly, the statue that they had uncovered of the emperor appeared to be unparalleled in size. The statue that was found beneath the ground featured Trajan in his military attire. The Roman emperor is dressed in classic armor that protects the front of his body on top of a robe that is fastened to his left shoulder and wrapped around one of his arms. On top of the statue being significant enough by itself, the archaeologists also revealed that the statue was actually uncovered together alongside with a significant inscription. The inscription detailed what is known as the Water Law, which is considered to be one of the most important pieces of legislation in Roman society. As we've come to know it, the civilization was innovated in terms of its water systems, however, these things had to be regulated. So, in order for water to reach all over Rome, a series of pipes were designed to transport water throughout major Roman urban centers. The Water Law was strictly enforced by the Roman government and dictated that those who tampered with the sewage system were harshly fined. Furthermore, according to the archaeologists that were excavating the site, the sculpture was made with such precision that it's almost as a Trajan modeled for the statue himself. If not that, then the artist who made the statue more than likely knew the emperor personally, because the features were too precise. When the statue was finally uncovered by the excavation team, it was found in an astonishing 356 different fragments from beneath the water fountain. It is assumed that the statue had been so broken down due to an earthquake that had struck the region, burying the city in a vast amount of rubble. The experts estimated that the sculpture of the great emperor is over 1,900 years old, dating back to the year of 113 AD. If this dating is correct, this means that the work was completed just four years before Trajan died from an illness. Yet, despite almost being 2,000 years old and shattered into hundreds of people, the stonework has held up impressively well throughout the years. Of course, the archaeologists were thrilled by their find. In addition to the countless artifacts discovered within the city walls recently, an aqueduct also uncovered some miles outside of the city. It is believed that this aqueduct would have fed water into a series of complex pipes that would have distributed the water throughout the city of Laodicea. Luckily, if you find the ancient city of Laodicea to be particularly interesting, you'll be pleased to learn that the city is a popular tourism site. In addition, finances are partly contributed by the Turkish Ministry of Culture and Tourism. This has helped to ensure that many of the remains that have been found were repaired and put on display. The archaeology team that discovered the statue of Trajan hopes that it will help increase tourism in the area.